Hello and welcome to Cambridge for Kids History Podcasts with me, Matthew Brooks. I'm an archaeologist and I love history. And in these podcasts, I would like to share my knowledge and discoveries with you. This is episode four of the Age of the Egyptians series. In this episode, we will discover the immense inventions that the ancient Egyptians created. In fact, it's probably easier to list the things that the Egyptians didn't create, as they invented a lot of stuff. We'll take a look at some of the more famous creations, such as writing, papyrus, irrigation, the sundial, makeup, and even breath mints. Off we go. Ancient Egyptian inventions and technology was used by many civilizations that followed. Their technology has lasted for centuries leading up to the present day. Egyptians made use of many straightforward designs, which would be used in all manner of daily life. As we discussed in episode 3, the ancient Egyptians were famous for their invention of hieroglyphics, which was one of the first languages. The characters of the Egyptians began with pictograms dating back to 6000 BC. Pictograms were basic pictures drawn from everyday life, but they had limits, so began to advance over time. The new features included Greek alphabet scripts that represented certain tones. The inscriptions and record-keeping talents of the ancient Egyptians were amazing. The ancient Egyptians invented a seasonal calendar based on a 365-day year. This calendar linked the flood cycles of the Nile so that the farmers could grow and collect crops effectively. There were 12 months in each year and 30 days to each month, with five additional days added to the end of the year. Another invention was papyrus which was the writing substance fashioned by the ancient Egyptians and was made from the strong and stringy centre of a reed that grew in the boggy regions along the banks of the Nile River. Papyrus pages were made into parchments which would be jam-packed with hieroglyphics on everything from songs to poetry and sacred religious texts. The ancient Egyptians made sure they kept the knowledge of this invention a closely guarded secret, as it was extremely popular and would fetch a high price at markets. If the world knew their secrets, they wouldn't be able to make vast amounts of money, which would help the economy. The city of Alexandria on the coast of ancient Egypt possessed a legendary library full of papyrus archives and manuscripts but it was completely destroyed by a great fire, which some eyewitnesses claim was started by the famous Roman general, Julius Caesar. Enormous amounts of information on history, collected works and art were all burnt to a crisp, along with the library. But what good would these parchments be without a way of writing the symbols? So they also invented a form of ink which is still visible on papyrus thousands of years later today. They mixed ash, vegetable gum and beeswax to make a thick black ink and would invent other colours by replacing the ash with other plant-based ingredients, such as ochre, which made the ink turn red. Both male and female Egyptians were obsessed with cleanliness and how they looked. Makeup was not only applied to the faces of everyday people for their appearance, but also doctors and priests. Eye makeup was first invented by the Egyptians around 4000 BC, and it is still fashionable today. Archaeological evidence shows that the plough was possibly first used by the Egyptians around 4000 BC, but was not a very good way of farming and produced little results as it was pushed by hand. Around 2000 BC, the Egyptians upgraded it by attaching oxen to pull the heavy object, and as a result, was a much faster system to work the soil. In the earliest plans, the plough was attached to the horns of the oxen, but it caused the animal pain, so they went back to the drawing board. 
Eventually belts were used to fasten the plough to the body of the oxen, which was a better method. This invention of the ox-drawn plough would modernise ancient Egyptian farming, and they became one of the biggest producers of crops in the ancient world. Another invention was the sundial, which was used by the ancient Egyptians as a basic clock to tell the time. The first tool to use the sun to measure the time was called the shadow clock, which was a small stone column placed vertically, which cast a shadow from the sun's light, and the time of day would be calculated by the measurement and position of the shadow. This was developed further by the invention of the sundial, there were many types of sundials used in the ancient world, but one of the most popular sundials found from archaeological excavations was made up of a flat base with 12 lines sticking out from a central wooden or metal rod. As the rod's shadow moved around the board from line to line, the time could be told and were eventually able to work out what the longest and shortest days of the year were. Back in ancient Egypt, and also today, some of the people suffered from rotting teeth due to bad dental health, and this caused bad breath. As a solution to this problem, the Egyptians invented the first dether breath mints. Today, if you have a dental problem, you can visit a dentist, but the ancient Egyptians unfortunately didn't have any physicians like that. Most of our dental problems today comes from processed sugars, but the Egyptians had bad teeth from other causes. Bakers would grind grain into flour using stones, and the sand from these stones got mixed in with the flour for their bread. This hard gravel wore down the tooth causing infections, and so a basic sweet was invented to conceal the bad smell. These sweets were made from a mix of frankincense, myrrh and cinnamon, combined with honey, and then shaped into bite-sized balls. Another interesting invention was the humble wig, which was invented to keep the Egyptians' head free from bugs, as many people would shave their heads bald during the scorching summer months. Baldness in Egyptian society was unfortunately considered to be an ugly fashion choice, so they invented wigs which also protected them from the sun's harsh rays. Wigs were worn by both men and women who could afford them, except priests. Ancient Egyptian wigs were made of human hair, and sometimes with sheep wool added to make the wigs denser, then surrounded with beeswax, which gave a thicker quality. Hopefully today you have enjoyed this episode and learnt something new. If you like this podcast, be sure to subscribe so you never miss another episode. Tune in next time with your host, me, Matthew Brooks, for more time travelling. Thanks a lot for listening and have a great day. Now, Charlie, you and I have a deal. I'll be back for Christmas, which isn't that long from now. And you are going to make new friends and help Aunt Nani. You can't just leave me! Truly, I won't be gone long, and Aunt Nani needs your help. You don't need to keep saying it! Charlie, I know this makes you sad, and I know you're sad because you love me. Promise me you'll be helpful. Okay. I love you. The Happy Go Lucky Podcast producers of Charlie Saves Christmas bring you our next heartwarming adventure. Cassie and the Spectral Shade opens April 6th, 2020.